since the man in the White House is not the cause of what is broken, he is just the latest and most extreme symptom of what's gone wrong in America. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren kicks off her run for the White House with a jab at President Trump. In front of a crowd in the Merrimack Valley, Warren officially joined the presidential race. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Bryce. And I'm Ken McLeod. Right on the heels of that rally in Lawrence, Warren took off on a campaign swing through New Hampshire. And WBZ's Paul Burton went along. The next president of the United States of America, Senator Elizabeth Warren. On a cold, windy day in Lawrence, Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren officially said the words thousands came to hear. I stand here today to declare that I am a candidate for President of the United States of America. Warren announced her 2020 bid for presidency at a Lawrence Mill site where largely immigrant factory workers went on strike about 100 years ago. She told the working class city she would fight economic inequality. This is the fight of our lives. The middle class squeeze is real and millions of families can barely breathe. It is not right. It's not right. It's not right. Warren talked about her middle class struggling upbringing, but avoided any comments surrounding her controversial past claims of Native American heritage. Instead, the 69-year-old senior Democrat focused on her record in politics and becoming the first woman senator from Massachusetts. On Saturday, she delivered a sharp call for a change in Washington, criminal justice reform to strengthen democracy. We need to take power in Washington away from the wealthy and well-connected and put it back in the hands of the people where it belongs. It's, it's truly amazing. I brought my three-month-old son. It's her first political rally, my wife, mother-in-law. This is just a great experience overall. And, and you got your picture. And I got my picture, so there we go. After her announcement, Warren kicked off her campaign in Dover, New Hampshire. Change starts right here in the Democratic presidential primary. From here, Senator Warren will head to Iowa and continue her seven-state organizing tour. She told the crowds today that this race will not be easy, but she's not afraid to fight and will not turn back. In Dover, New Hampshire, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.